Hello everyone, and welcome back to Have you ever been unsure of someone's interest in you? Did you see signs you weren't sure were hints or friendly gestures? Well, you've come to the right place because today we're going to talk about six sure signs that she wants you to make a move. It's not a guess. These are strong but slight clues that a lot of people pick up on. If you're interested in Miss, knowing these signs can help you make an informed decision when the time is right. We'll discuss everything from her behavior in groups to the behavior of her friends around you. Don't forget to subscribe to psychologytips.com. We post videos every day to help you boost your confidence, make your relationships better and get ahead in all areas of your life. Click the button below to subscribe and make sure you never miss an update. Okay, now let's examine the six signs that indicate her desire for you to initiate contact. First, she finds reasons to talk to you. When someone consistently tries to start a conversation with you, even if it seems subtle at first, it's usually a sign of more than just friendliness. If she's looking for reasons to talk to you, it means she likes your company, values your opinions, and might even want something more. In this article, we'll look at the different ways someone might try to start a conversation, why it matters, and how you can respond in a way that builds a meaningful connection. Before providing you with examples, let's first explore the reasons why she might want to start a conversation. First, let's look into why she might be doing this. Putting people together. People are social animals, and talking helps them form emotional bonds. By talking to you a lot, she's giving you both chances to bond. She may be testing your interest by seeing how interested you are in her. If you demonstrate responsiveness and interest, it reassures her that the interest is mutual, thereby indicating attraction. One way to do this is to communicate clearly and often. A signal draw serves as a low-risk method to gauge the situation without being overly direct. Trying to. If she feels at ease talking to you, it means she trusts you and feels like she can talk to you. Common situations often prompt her to seek help or advice from you. Most of the time, someone will start a conversation by asking for your help or opinion. This could be as simple as seeking assistance with directions, making suggestions, or sharing your thoughts on a specific topic. Do you know of a good place nearby? I want to start running. Do you have any advice? You know a lot about technology, right? Could you help me figure this out? Even though these requests may seem normal, they usually mean that she wants to hear what you have to say and trusts your opinion. Even if the job seems small, it's her way of connecting with you and getting to know you better. How to respond? Be helpful and listen carefully. Even if the question seems straightforward, make an effort to provide a thoughtful response. Use this as a chance to continue the conversation. For example, after recommending a restaurant, you could say, let me know how you like it. Secondly, she could provide you with updates about her life. If she talks a lot about her day, recent events or plans for the future, it's a strong sign that she wants you to be a part of her life. This behavior goes beyond casual friendliness and suggests she wants to build a deeper relationship with you. An example I came back from the best weekend trip ever. You'd love this spot. These past few months have been really busy for me at work, but I finally had time to try that new hobby we talked about. I told you that when someone shares personal updates, they're letting you into their world and giving you the chance to react with interest and support. How to respond? That sounds amazing. What did you like best? Ask her follow-up questions to demonstrate your continued interest and use her posts to identify commonalities or areas of interest. Does she find time to talk to you during the day, even about things that don't seem important? This is often a sign that she likes having you around and wants to keep the lines of communication open. I thought of you starting talks about everyday things when I sent you a random meme or link. 
GH traffic was crazy today. At first, small gestures like stopping by your desk at work to inquire about your day or sending you a text message may not seem significant, but they are deliberate efforts to maintain communication. Number two, when it comes to reading love cues, she pays extra attention to you in groups. Group settings are one of the best and most subtle ways to discover interests. Dynamics in social gatherings, like casual hangouts, parties, or even work events, let you see how she acts when she's with other people, by more than one person. It's simple to miss the signs, especially when the group is busy with conversations and other things to do, but her actions in these situations can tell you a lot about how she feels about you. For example, if a woman pays you extra attention in a group, that's one of the best signs she likes you romantically. But what does that look like? How can you tell without thinking too much about every move or word she makes? In this in-depth look, we'll talk about the different ways she might show extra interest in you in a group setting, what makes her do it, and how you can confidently respond to these signs. It's important to understand the role of body language and nonverbal cues in group dynamics before we get into specific behaviors. This is due to the scattered or loud nature of verbal communication, which underscores the significance of nonverbal cues, such as eye contact, body orientation, and physical gestures. Many studies have shown that most communication is nonverbal, with up to 93% of human communication being conveyed through body language and tone, leaving just 7% to words alone, when a woman gives you extra attention. In a group, it often starts with these subtle non-verbal cues. These signs are typically involuntary meaning. She's not consciously trying to signal you. Rather, her body is communicating attraction on a zone. Learning to recognize these non-verbal cues will help you interpret her actions with more clarity. One, she finds ways to engage with you, even if it's just through small talk in a group setting. It can be hard to hold someone's attention for a long time, especially when there are multiple people involved in the conversation. However, if she's consistently finding ways to engage with you, even during small talk, it's a sign that she's interested, interested in getting to know you better. This could be as simple as her asking you questions about your life interests or opinions. For instance, she might ask, what do you think about this topic? Or, have you ever done this before? Even if the conversation seems trivial, she's making an effort to connect with you one-on-one. -on -one. This type of individual engagement in a group setting demonstrates her willingness to put in additional effort to establish rapport and strengthen your relationship. If she goes out of her way to sit or stand next to you in a group, it's a clear sign that she's interested. People don't naturally move toward others unless they feel comfortable with or attracted to them, so if she's always in your personal space, like sitting next to you at a table or standing close by during group interactions, it means that she feels drawn to you. Even in large groups, she might move herself closer to you by changing her position or using small breaks in conversation. It's simple to miss someone or quickly switch topics in a group conversation. If she tries to keep the conversation going between the two of you by asking follow-up questions or bringing it back to something you said, it's a clear sign that she wants to stay engaged with you. If you say something interesting or relevant and she asks you to explain or brings it up later, it shows she's listening and values what you say. She's trying to keep the connection alive even in a group setting. Extra attention in a group is one of the clearest signs that a woman is interested in you. While this behavior may appear innocuous, it typically serves as a means for her to gauge your interest and attention span. If you can spot these signs, you can respond in a way that shows you're also interested. Figuring out why she's paying more attention to you can help you feel more comfortable in the situation. You don't have to take every action as a direct intrusion. You just need to know that these actions show a higher level of interest. If you see a few of these signs, you might want to take the relationship to the next level. 
Number three, she comes clean about being single. People can mean different things when they say they're single, depending on the situation. For most people, it's just a passing comment or a neutral piece of information that doesn't mean anything more. But if a woman says she's single in a conversation with you, you should pay attention, especially if you're wondering if she's interested in you romantically. This seemingly innocent statement can actually be a clue, and there are different reasons a woman might bring up her relationship status, each with its own level of significance. In this article, we'll delve into the various reasons why a woman might declare herself single. How this statement could mean she is waiting for you to take the next step will be discussed. We will also talk about how you can read this sign, the right way to react and what to do next in the first conversation with intent will also be covered. When a woman says she's single, it's usually not an accident. She generally has a reason for doing it. If you're talking to a woman about a group of mutual friends or acquaintances and she casually says, Oh yeah, I've been single for a while now, this may seem like an unimportant fact, but it can mean a lot. She's basically telling you that she's not in a relationship, so she's available now. This doesn't mean that she's already interested in you, but it could be a subtle way of giving you the impression that she's not seeing anyone. By disclosing her single status, she's creating an opportunity for you to express interest or propose a date. It's important to know what kind of statement this is. She might be providing this information to gauge whether you're paying attention, noticing the hint, or even preparing to take the next step. Basically, she's giving you a chance to show her that you're interested in her without saying it out loud. Two signals that it's available. If a woman says she's single, it's often a sign that she's ready for a new relationship. This is especially true if she says it after spending time with you or having a deeper conversation. For example, if you've been spending time together and having deeper conversations and then she suddenly says she's single, it could be her way of letting you know that she's ready for a new relationship. In other words, she's saying, I'm ready for something new. Right now, I'm not committed to anyone and I'm interested in where things could go between us. This could serve as a clear indication for you to initiate contact. She might not be saying, I want you to ask me out, but by saying she's single, she's giving you a clear sign that she's open and you should go after her if you feel the same way. If you and she have been spending a significant amount of time together and growing closer, her declaration of her single status could resolve any potential issues. If she says she's single, it means she's not seeing anyone else. So if you feel attracted to her, you can take the next step. Therefore, she may be waiting for you to suggest hanging out more or going on a date. This is important because it shows that you're interested and open to developing something more without having to say it directly. Some people talk about their relationships without any ulterior motives, but when a woman says she's single, it's usually a sign that she wants to say something more, like whether she's interested in you or if she thinks you should take things further. If this happens, watch how she says it and how you respond. It may be the perfect time to show your interest and escalate. 4. Her friends bring her up to you which is a sign she's interested when you're navigating the complicated world of relationships. Small signs can easily lead you astray in the complex world of dating and relationships. How someone's friends act around you is one of the most telling signs. For example, if her friends start talking about her in conversation, it's usually not just friendly banter. It's a red flag that she likes you and might even be waiting for you to make a move. While her friends talking about her might seem harmless at first, it's actually a more significant sign than you might think. Friends have a deep understanding of each other, and when they gently steer you towards a romantic interest, there's often more to it than what initially appears. This piece will delve deeply into the social and psychological factors that could prompt her friends to introduce her to you, 
and how these actions could be indicators for you to take action. Let's delve deeper and uncover the underlying truths. Behind these subtle but powerful signals are one way they want to give her an opening without putting her on the spot, creating opportunities for both of you. When friends bring her up in front of you, it can be their way of creating an opening without putting her in an awkward or uncomfortable position for many people, especially those who are shy or hesitant about making the first move, it can be hard to directly express interest. However, by talking about her in front of you, her friends may be subtly encouraging her to show more of her feelings. Without directly putting her on the spot, her friends know her well, and they can likely gauge her level of comfort in expressing romantic interest if they sense she's interested in you, but too nervous to say something they might take matters into their own hands. This could look like casually mentioning things she's done recently or ways she brought you up in conversation. If they're comfortable enough with you, they might even joke around about the two of you together. In essence, they're creating a low-pressure opening for her to either confirm or deny any potential romantic interest, why it feels natural. These interactions feel natural because they're not forced or contrived when her friends bring her up in this indirect way. It doesn't feel like a direct attempt to set you up. Instead, it feels like a casual conversation where you can easily jump in and show your interest without feeling too vulnerable. For instance, if her friends casually mention she'd love to join you for that event, it's a simple way for her to express her interest without needing to say it herself. In this scenario, her friends are creating a situation where it's easy for you to make a move. They're giving both of you a chance to see if you're on the same page and whether there's potential for something more to. She's not ready to make the first first move when she's hesitant. If she's not making a move herself, it could be because she's shy, unsure of your feelings, or simply waiting for a sign from you. In these cases, her friends might step in to give her the nudge she needs by bringing her up to you. They're giving her the chance to assess your reaction and test the waters. If you respond positively or show interest, she may feel more comfortable making the next move herself. It's clear to her friends that not everyone likes straight confrontation. Some people like to drop hints and see how the other person responds before telling them how they really feel. In this case, when her friends bring her up, it's more about giving her a chance to see how you react without having to tell you directly. 3. Her friends know you're interested and want to encourage it. Sometimes it's not just her friends pushing her toward you, it's also them pushing you toward her. If they know you're interested in her and are waiting for the right time to make a move, they might help create that moment by bringing her up in conversation to see how you react or by making jokes about how wonderful you two are together. This makes it easier for both of you to deal with the connection without feeling awkward. They are aware of her interest, but occasionally they want to initiate a conversation with her. If her friends have seen her flirt or drop hints around you, they may want to see if you pick up on those signals by bringing her up in conversation. They want you to take the next step and make your interest known. It's not just them talking about her, it's them pushing you to act on what you may already be feeling. 5. She invites you to do things together. Figuring out the subtle signs of attraction can be one of the hardest and most rewarding parts of any relationship. For many men, it can be hard to tell if a woman is just being friendly or if she's inviting you to do things together. This is one of the clearest signs that she likes you. But why is this offer such a strong indication of her interest? And why does it carry a deeper significance than just a friendly invitation? It's just a nice thing to do. This article will go into detail about why she wants to do things with you and how this behavior is a clear sign that she may want something more. We'll delve into the deeper meanings of her actions, explore the psychology of invitations, 
and explore how you can respond to these cues to enhance your relationship with her by spending time together and demonstrating genuine interest. Many consider time their most valuable asset, but in today's busy world, it can be challenging to find time for social activities. If she's actively inviting you to join her in various activities, this is a clear signal that she values your company and wants to spend time with you. Time is precious. The first thing to understand is that time is a limited resource. People are very particular about who they spend their time with because they can't get it back. This is why if a woman is inviting you to do things together, it often reflects that she sees you as someone special. She's intentionally carving out time from her busy schedule to hang out with you, which speaks volumes about her interest in you, inviting someone to do something together, whether it's something as casual as grabbing a coffee or as involved as attending an event, is a conscious decision. She's not doing it just because she's being polite. She's doing it because she enjoys your company and wants to foster a deeper connection. It's about more than just the activity. Often people mistakenly think that the invitation is all about the activity at hand. However, the activity itself is secondary to the fact that she wants to be in your presence. Whether you're both going for a walk, attending a concert, or grabbing dinner together, the invitation is a reflection of her desire to spend quality time with you. In fact, she might even suggest activities she knows you would enjoy as a way of ensuring that you have a good time together. It's not just about being physically present together, it's about building a deeper connection through shared experiences. When you spend more time with someone, you can get to know them better, share your ideas, and become close over shared hobbies. This is often where relationships begin to grow and change. Secondly, she is assessing the relationship and gauging your level of interest. Another way to gauge your interest is by asking you to participate in activities with her. While it may seem insignificant, if she's unsure of your feelings, she could invite you to a casual event to gauge your interest without overly pressuring you. If a woman asks you to hang out, she wants to know if you enjoy her company as much as she enjoys yours. How do you respond? Do you seem excited to spend time with her or hesitant? She's probably paying close attention to your body language, the tone of your voice, and how engaged you are during the time you spend with her. If she sees that you're enthusiastic and comfortable around her, she'll keep inviting you out because she knows you're open to the possibility of a deeper relationship. On the other hand, if you're distant or unresponsive, she might retreat and think about whether you're really interested. One reason these invitations are often for casual things like coffee or a small event is to create a low-pressure environment. This way, both of you can hang out in a relaxed setting where there are no expectations, but there's still the chance for a connection to form. It's her way of testing whether there's chemistry without getting into something more serious right away. This kind of testing is normal in the early stages of any relationship. She's not expecting you to confess your feelings, but she wants to see if there's a spark and if you're open to the idea of spending more time together in the future. Number six. She is interested in learning about your daily routine. What does it mean when someone shows interest in your personal life? When someone is interested in your personal life, it usually means they want to learn more about you. It's not enough for her to know what you do for a living or where you're from. She wants to learn more about who you are, your beliefs, your past, and what makes you special by asking personal questions. Common ground is a place to find mental compatibility or signs that you might be a suitable match as a partner in the future. In the beginning of a relationship, a person's level of interest can help you figure out if you're interested in them. A friendly person may ask about your weekend or hobbies. When someone is interested in you romantically, she will probably ask you more personal questions about your life. The more interested she is, the more likely it is that she will do this. Ask different questions to learn about your feelings, values, 
past and future, she might want to take a closer look. Let's look at some specific questions and topics that show she's interested in your personal life and explain why they're important. Ask one question about your family. A common way to get to know someone is to talk about family. She might inquire about your upbringing, your parents, your brothers, and your family. So it makes sense that she might want to know more about it. Dynamic can tell you a lot about a person's personality and values. What do these questions reveal about your feelings? By asking about your family ties, she can get a sense of your emotional background and how you deal with relationships in general. Family members often demonstrate core values such as loyalty, duty and empathy in their interactions with each other. She can determine whether your values align with hers by understanding your upbringing. Compatibility. If she wants to build a future with you, telling her about your family history can help her figure out how well you'll get along with hers. Different, for example, she might ask how you get along with your parents and if you have a close family. How do you remember your favorite childhood moment? Two questions about the people you've dated in the past. While this might be a little more sensitive if she wants to know about your ex-girlfriends, in this case, it means she wants to know about your love life and how you deal with relationships. These questions might not come up right away, but as she gets to know you better, she might ask about your past relationships to see what you've learned. What do these questions show about your mental maturity? How you talk about old relationships can show how emotionally mature you are. Whether you're angry about the things that happened in the past or have learned something good from them. What you want, your old relationships can give it to you. She may inquire about your past relationships to determine if your desires and needs align, as well as your approach to handling disagreements. If you talk about past relationships, she might be able to tell how you handle tough future chats or arguments. This can help her figure out if you're someone she can talk to easily. In the future, she might ask you things like, what did you learn from your past relationships? How did the end of your last romance go? What do you want in a partner? Ask yourself three questions about your interests and hobbies. Interests and hobbies are a wonderful way for someone to get to know you and the things that make you happy. A woman asking Joy what she does in her free time isn't just being nice. She's trying to figure out what you're passionate about and see if you share similar interests. These questions show your time expenditure which can indicate your happiness or balance. She may want to see if your lifestyle or hobbies match hers. If you both love the same things, like camping, reading or cooking, it can help you connect right away. But even if your interests are different, she may still ask if you're willing to try new things. What you do in your free time says a lot about who you are. An introvert who likes to do things alone or an extrovert who likes to do things with others? These likes and dislikes can help her figure out if you're a suitable match. Helpful hints. If she's really interested in your life, she'll remember little things you've told her in the past and bring them up again later. For example, she might remember your favorite childhood activity or ask how your family is doing based on something you talked about a while ago. This isn't just a polite conversation. It's her demonstrating her genuine interest and care. And that's it. There are six sure signs that she's waiting for you to make a move. Remember that the key is to stay alert and sure of yourself. If you see any of these signs, act without thinking. It's beneficial to feel confident, and sometimes all it takes is one small step to turn a shared interest into something important. Please let me know in the comments if this movie was helpful. Have you seen any of these signs before? If so, let us know what you think in the comments below. Before you leave, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on alerts. We're here at Psychology Tips to help you improve your relationships, your mind and your life in general. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.